Right, so what we want to do is we want to be able to see what we're actually building as well. So the way to do that is with Storybook. Essentially, it gives us this UI over here where we have all of our stories for our components that we make, and then we can test them out visually. So because it's a React component library that we're making and not a React app, we can't actually inject anything into the DOM like the React does with injecting everything into the root ID on the HTML page. So let's go ahead and install this. This is just going to be quite brief and we won't be talking about it in depth, but essentially all we need to do is run this. So let's go ahead and run it in our terminal. So let's clear everything out and then run MPX storybook latest in it. And this will initialize everything in our storybook in our app. So now we want to use a module bundler and we have two to choose from, which is V and Webpack. We already have Rollup installed in our app and that handles the bundling process for the disk folder, but this is separate. This is going to be for our storybook itself. So let's go ahead and choose V. Now it's going to install everything for us. What we want to do is just wait for that to install. Right, so now that's installed everything for us. What, there's a few changes that have happened in our code. So let's close everything down. And now you can see we have a storybook file at the top over here. We also have the stories folder here as well. So that is in source of stories. So if we go into our browser, you can see here V has open storybook. So let's go into the browser and you get this UI presented to you. You can go through the tour, but I'm just going to skip the tour. Essentially we have stories on the left. These are the stories here, which is button. In button, we have docs, which is the documentation for the button. We have the primary button, the secondary button, large, small, and we can interact with these. So essentially we can toggle from true to false and you can see the values and what's happening. So if we click the button, actions happen. Interactions we won't cover, but essentially there's quite a lot you can do. You can change the label and you can see what's happening in here in real time. You can change the color and change the background color in like black, like so and so on. But basically what happens is this button renders certain props and then these props get rendered and we can change things around in here so we can visually see what's happening with our components. So now what we want to do is the page component that we've made, that's the one we want to work with. So I'm just going to delete everything in the stories folder in here and then essentially what we want to do in components in here we want to create a new file called page.stories.tsx so now essentially what will happen is i'm going to bring in what i have for my stories for page and explain it to you so so now we've imported everything in i need to import the relevant page component which is page so this is the children of the page and so on and now let me save this and let's test it in the UI. So if we go into page and then you can see this is page one title and so on. So let's go on to page one. This is the page one title. We can add more in here and you can see it's getting rendered and it's rendering the relevant information. If we had any actions, we could pass them in. So similar to what we saw with the button, we could do that as well. And then we also have the docs in here as well. So this is how you would visually see your storybook components. But yeah, essentially that's what I wanted to cover in this section, which is installing Storybook in case you wanted to have this into your project.